this topic is extremely controversial. So anybody who doesn't like controversy had better leave now. The central controversy, um, first of all, uh, one view holds that Nefra uh, agrees with Confucius, who was actually wrong about bringing up children as well. Um, Nephrite jade never alters. Uh, this view also is that uh, Hongshan Neolithic jade carvings are rare. There are several hundred from known excavations, and basically that only those from official excavations count. This is a typical zhulong, or pig dragon, that you will see in museums around China. This is from Shenyang. Its estimated value is 2.5 million US dollars, according to the officials there. On the other hand, um, there's a view to which I subscribe, which, and I'll try and persuade you, that nephrite jade weathers very readily. Jade carving was central to the Hongshan culture's belief systems, and uh, most graves, probably 99% 90, or more, have been excavated illegally, and if they left things behind, they probably left the least interesting. So this is a piece uh, from my collection. This cost not 2.5 million US dollars, but 2.500 US dollars. Um, and I was very pleased to get it for that. I probably would have paid 3.500 if I'd had to. Um, but note, um, there is a difference. Put the two side by side. Uh, one shows evidence of age, one, I mean, uh, weathering, which we'll talk about, and focal weathering around here, a beautiful color and a very interesting piece. So that's the controversy. Well, now, what is the working definition of jade? I think that one should go from the general to the specific, and I would say uh, it's a natural mineral that can only be carved by grinding. Uh, that's yu, um, which is what the Chinese refer to as jade. Uh, of course, the most important jade in Chinese history is nephrite, but it also encompasses jadeite, which is the stuff that you see in the jade market mostly now, serpentine, uh, agate, turquoise, and a very interesting form of crystal, which and I've I am, I'm not going to say much about agate and crystal unless we have a bit of time in discussion. Um, jadeite wasn't carved in China until 200 years ago, maybe occasionally in the Han Dynasty, but, but uh, it's certainly not in the Neolithic. So nephrite jade is the principal jade carved in China throughout its history. Um, now, sorry, we have to have a bit of chemistry. Um, it's a twin-chain silicate. Uh, composed of either tremolite, which is calcium-magnesium silicate, or ferroactinolite, which has iron 2 plus substituting for magnesium, or a mixture of the two. And this um, composition, uh, intercomposition, uh, uh, d partly determines the color of the nephrite. Um, you can see here, below, at the bottom, this is the structure of this, of nephrite, which is an, what's called an amphibole. It's a chain silicate as is jadeite, but jadeite is a single chain, and each of these is an oxygen atom, and behind the clear ones is a silicon, covalently linked, and then the charges are balanced with calcium and magnesium, or calcium and iron. This is a Hongshan notch disc of pure tremolite, um, a lovely little piece, very classical Hongshan icon, and um, Basically, there's, the, the, there's probably no iron in this at all. It's all calcium magnesium silicate. Note, even though it's in very good condition, it does show signs of aging. The different colors also depend on, on incorporated minerals as well as the iron. Uh, and these minerals are often uh, crystallized separately from, from the nephrite. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. So here's an example of a group of insects from my collection. Um, and they show some of the diversity of colors that you get. You've already seen that um, beautiful zhulong, pig dragon, which is kind of bluish and green and some red in it. And these, these colors mainly, as I said, they depend upon the an and the other incorporated minerals. Jade is extremely tough. It's, it's quite hard. Mo, mo, on the Mo scale, its hardness is, is 6.5 when it's unweathered. But um, that's a bit misleading because it weathers on the surface, and then it becomes very soft. 
and we have to, this is the last bit of chemistry, I think. Um, there's a series called Goldsmith's Reaction Series. Now, you can, if you're a jade collector, you may well, uh, you may well as many people do, ignore all chemistry. Um, but this is a fact, that these substances were formed under high temperatures and pressures as tertiary minerals. And as a result of that, bring them to the surface, and they weather. They, uh, so uh, it, jade is an amphibole here. And quartz at the bottom is very, very is relatively unsusceptible to, to weathering. So this is chemical weathering. Right, that's enough of that. So um, the this is an illustration. Uh, these are offcuts of, of New Zealand nephrite or punamu. Jenny and I went went there in 2005 and visited the jade carving fac factories in Hokitika. And you can see all of this jade has a skin on it. It, it, which, which is cut off. I mean, these were just given to me. So nephrite will weather, and, it, and amongst, and, it, and it, the principal determinants of weathering are going to be water, exposure to water, which is a highly reactive, it, it reacts with it, other minerals, especially acid, and a function of time. So it follows, therefore, that the older a, a piece of jade is, uh, the more likely it is to have weathered, I would have thought. Now, we've seen this lovely little um, praying mantis knife uh, I I among the insects. And I just wanted to point out, one of the features uh, you'll be noticing is that here, over on the left, it's, it's not weathered at all. That's the original carving surface. And then you go to this extremely weathered area, uh, presumably due to local exposure to water. And the, the surface crystals there, you can pick them off with a knife. Uh, hardness 6.5 would mean that a knife wouldn't get the, un the, 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 the original jade surface. If you look at it under the electron microscope, there's whitening on the surface, which is talked about as calcification. It is not calcification. What it is is microcrystalline tremolite. And this material, looked at under the electron microscope, and I've been fortunate to work with Andy Bushby and others at Queen Mary College in London. I'm quite good at hijacking extremely expensive equipment. This is tremolite microcrystalline tremolite. So it, you expect it to appear on the surface. There have been some studies in the scientific, in, in the Chinese literature, and there's a very good volume here. If anybody's really interested, I can give them a copy of this on a disk. Um, Acta Geological Ta Geologica Taiwanica, Mineralogical Studies of Archaic Jades, and much of what I'm got to at the beginning of, of my studies on jade was starting with this volume. I think I actually understand um, more than, than some of the people who wrote in the book now. Well, now, what about the Hongshan culture and how did I get there? Uh, I st it started nearly 10 years ago. This is the rough area in China. The star marks Beijing. Uh, it's actually a wider area than this, but it's Liaoning province and Inner Mongolia. And somewhere around here is, is New Heiliang, which is the burial sites. But there are burial sites all around uh, um, the, this area. Um, and what we is believed about it is that it was a Neolithic, certainly, uh, jade carving, shamanic culture, gynocentric, and therefore, in other words, it was, uh, it was controlled by women. And therefore, it was relatively Pacific, I mean, relatively as opposed to later Chinese cultures, such as the Xia dynasty, which were metallic, dictatorial, androcentric, and belific. And I hope you, 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 you. Uh, and I think that's the one we've got now, too. Um, this is a, 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 a tomb at New Heiliang, and I'll come back to it. But you'll notice that all of the, all of the, um, the, 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 the people buried there with their jade were buried in limestone boxes. And the, the, lime, the lime was brought from about three kilometers away. Uh, and that actually means that they were, they were gently bathed in alkali whenever it got wet. And, 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 and probably the jade didn't react very much. But we'll return to this particular uh, tomb, because there's one or two things wrong with it. It's clearly been tampered with. Um, 